What is up guys, Bob Gar here, we're playing some $10 mono green Stompy in Modern. This is not a keepable hand, so I will mulligan, we need a couple more lands than that. I will keep this one, I'm not confident in it, but uh, it's a little land heavy, but we do have a treetop village which survives sweepers and things like that, and we have two of our best threat, so it's very slow for us, but uh, especially at 6, I don't think we can mulligan it. If we find a turn 2 play after, well, I think that's action, so I think I'll keep it. It's just so much better than a land. Hopefully we're playing against a deck that doesn't have a lot of removal, and we are. Um, I don't think this is a good matchup, but they don't have a lot of removal, which means the Leatherbacks, once I finally get them down, will probably live. Um, but it might be a little... It's not going to be till next turn until I even play them, and then who knows what they have. Uh, they might just run me over. He has Master of Ethereum as a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Unless we draw a removal spell for Master of Ethereum, which I don't think is likely here. It's hard for me to imagine a world where we don't lose. Well, I'm going to slam Leatherback. The next turn I'm going to go experiment one Leatherback and pray. But yeah, I don't think, there's, I don't think this one's winnable. I also can't block any of them currently, and an etched champion. So this is one of the best hands I've seen out of... Um, uh, I will get on experiment one. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, well, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is... What do I go down? Uh, some of this stuff's actually pretty good against him. He doesn't have a lot of removal. Vines is slightly less important, but I don't think I go down it. I can get down a Militant. I definitely go up all the natural states. Probably the Gut Shot, just because he has enough one toughness guys that Gut Shot's pretty good. Definitely Creeping Corrosion. Probably even not back to nature. Uh, unravel the Aether. Go down a Tusker. I'll go down. Rancor is not bad, but not super important. Go down to Vines. Let's go down. Yeah, I went down to Tusker already. I don't want to go down too many creatures here. But I do want to go up all my spot removal against him as well as my Creeping Corrosion. Could go down to land like one of my treetops or something. Could be fine. Maybe Unravel is just unnecessary. Creeping Corrosion feels really good. I can go down a second Tusker. I still want to be able to trade up. That's the hard part. Oh, the Prey Upons. I was going to go down. No, I'll just go down all the Prey Upons and let's get a couple of these guys back in here. Boop, boop. I think that's fine. All right. Uh, well, let's do it. This is not good, but better than the first hand. I think I would keep this if it was three and... It's pretty bad. I probably... It's so hard to mulligan with this deck because you really don't... Like, it's pretty light on lands, so when you get any lands, it's like, oh, I have lands. That's therefore a good hand. Mox Opal. Okay. Plays down Ornithopter. And starts the game with a Steel Overseer. Well, this was a pretty good draw. Gut Shot. Strangle Root Geist. Get in for four. Yeah, that's the reason I'm running the Gut Shot. That champion is super good against me. I still have a relatively good shot against the deck in general, but yeah, more land. All right, maybe I should have mulliganed. I mean, obviously you can't know what you're going to draw, but we've drawn... I guess that's not true. We did, the gut shot was perfect. Uh, I don't know why I should have cast that in response, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Not super good against us, but we just have nothing, so... Well, this is going to be one of those unfortunate ones where we put, we kind of had every right to win, but um, oh, he attacks with all of them. Oh, I take. I'm going to attack back with all my guys. He can make that guy big enough to block if he wants to. Attack all. See what he does. He will block. Sure, seems fine. I guess I could have... Killed him in response. Okay. Um, so I could kill him in response just so he doesn't get the extra counter. It's probably worth it. You got it. 
I mean, he could eat more things, but I don't think that's worth it for him. So he's going to have a very big etched champion, but if he's swinging with it every time, he doesn't have it on defense. I think our best hope here is to just, like, top deck some... If I top deck two pumps in a row, I think I'd probably just beat him. Oh, wow. Andy drew his draw for turn was literally... That's, like, one of the best draws you could have possibly had. Holy crap. Well, um, yeah, I don't think we're winning this. Jeez. Well, our draw was spectacularly bad, and his was spectacularly good. Protection from all colors is pretty nice. I mean... I'm just going to do this now. Get in for four. He's only getting in for five a turn right now, so I guess he's winning the race. But yeah, like if he lets this through, a single pump spell next turn could just win us the game. So he does. Top deck of land. He attacks with both of those and leaves Ornithopter back. Seems good. So I have to win this turn. I don't think there's a way to as long as he blocks. Yep. Uh, I can do six if he didn't block, but he will. And he's going to swing for four. Well, I'll just play it out for the fun of it. Good game, my opponent. Not much I can do. Uh, we drew poorly. He drew well. And he has a really good deck. I mean, uh, it's I wouldn't call it absolute number one deck in the format, but it's certainly uh, top four deck in the format. So not not much you can do. Uh, he, I mean, I was going to say he played it well, but he didn't really have to play it well. He just played whatever he had in his hand, and that's that's the way uh, Affinity mostly works, unless you have to deal with Ink Moth shenanigans and things like that. It's a pretty pretty straightforward deck to play. I mean, he put down a Nets champion and he won. That was the way that game went. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.